Women are continuing to make history in sports. All-time WNBA leading scorer Diana Taurasi has played with the Phoenix Mercury for 14 seasons, the longest of any Mercury player. She has left lasting effects on her fans and community around her and doesn't plan on changing that anytime soon. Diana Tarazzi's basketball journey has taken her from Chino, California to Storrs, Connecticut to Phoenix. And now she says she has found a home in the desert. It's a big deal being from Phoenix and, and representing the city and, and getting their support. While she's won WNBA championships, gold medals, and MVP honors, Tarazzi's legacy in the Valley goes beyond the basketball court. Her game touches everybody in the city. You know, there's nobody in the city I don't think that doesn't know who Diana Taurasi is. Even if they're not a basketball fan, they know of Diana Taurasi. She's a great personality. Phoenix people see what she's like off the court. She's one of the nicest people out there. She'd take the shirt, shirt off the, her back to give it to someone in need. Assistant coach Todd Troxel, who has coached Taurasi both in the States and on her team in Russia, has seen firsthand her impact both overseas and in the U.S. She's never big time ever, so she never big times people. She always makes them feel like important and then for them, I mean, you see someone who's the best acting that way, um, I think it shows a lot. Tarazi broke the WNBA's career scoring mark last month, an accomplishment that was celebrated with a special Tarazi night at a recent Mercury game. the WNBA's all-time leading scorer, Diana Taurasi, the Mercury brought out these furry friends to honor the GOAT, otherwise known as the greatest of all time. She is the greatest professional sports F athlete that we've ever had here in the city of Phoenix. That's Diana Taurasi. Taurasi is currently under contract with the Mercury through 2020. In Phoenix, Sarah Haddis, Cronkite News. The city celebrated Tarasi's accomplishment by renaming part of First Street 7489 Tarasi Way and a ceremonial first pitch at a Diamondbacks game last week.